Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Standard News Network. We are your hosts. I'm Yasmin Rivera. And I'm Inez Stevenson. This week was a four-day week across ASL due to a professional development day on Friday. A professional development day is where teachers attend workshops and other activities to enrich their pedagogy. We spoke to Ms. Maisie about the benefits of a professional development day. Um, so this Friday we are trying um, something new and creative in the high school. We're calling it um, it's based on the hackathon model, which is um, through software development. So in a, in a traditional hackathon that happens in the tech world, you would get together on a day and you would think about taking a software, kind of finding issues with it, developing something new, and presenting by the end of the day, like, here's what, here's what we did, here's what we made. So a good example of this is Google used to do this a lot. It's actually how Gmail was invented. Um, the high school is going to do something similar, giving teachers some really open time to generate ideas, we would say sort of problem surfacing and problem solving, um, some different things that they're seeing. It's definitely going to be a big like uh, homework catch up and I feel that Saturday and Sunday I'll be able to just relax and catch up on sleep especially because then Friday I can just finish all my work. Um, so I'm actually super happy that we don't have this Friday. Thank you all. Moving on to other events, the girls' JV basketball team played a home game on Wednesday against ACS Cobham. Also, the boys' JJV basketball team played a home game against Marylebone Boys School on Tuesday. Let's hear from our sports correspondents for more information. Thank you, Yasmin and Inez. My name is Colton Stenson. And my name is Theo Vanzo. This week, we went to the girls' JV basketball game against ACS Cobham. Let's hear from sophomore Maddie Hepburn on her feelings about the game. I think it took a lot of practice and it took a lot of enthusiasm. We, our game on Monday, we performed really well then and I think that gave us a really big boost of confidence and we finally understood our plays, so I think that also helped make us more constructive. Because we all have different uh, playing styles, we had to learn to mesh with those and whilst we did that, we connected on a more personal and friendly level than just a team and so we were there for each other when we struggled and we were there when we needed help on and off the court. The team lost 29-51. We also spoke to freshman Oliver Rhodes about the boys' JJV basketball game against Marlebone Boys School. For a team that was that much bigger than us, I feel like we did a great job of like staying in the game, especially since we have a lot smaller of a team. We don't think that that was a JJV team and that we still played well, even though we lost. Uh, I think we could just improve on maybe boxing out and like just in general like making more of our shots. I feel like our shot selection was good, but we could have just made more of our shots in general. That's all for sports this week. Now, back to the hosts. Thank you, Theo and Colton. Finally, this week we have a special weather segment due to Storm Isha. Let's hear from our weatherman for more. Thank you, Yasmin and Inez. In the past few days, Storm Isha has swept across the UK with winds up to 99 miles per hour. These intense winds have been causing some travel disruption across the nation. Let's hear from Hattie Solomon on his experience with Storm Isha. The storm made it very difficult for me to get to school on time. Uh, I got to the tube station and there was like a 10 minute delay for the tube um, for the Metropolitan Line. So I had to take the Jubilee Line, which takes like an extra five, six minutes. And even the Jubilee Line was delayed. And then also the conditions at the tube station, it was very wet and windy. Um, I saw a bunch of people slipping on the floor. Um, so yeah, I feel like overall the situation wasn't like the best. That's all for SNN this week. We're your hosts, Yasmin and Inez. Thank you for watching. See you next week.